Hey guys, um, yeah, so I just read this book Jellico wrote and I loved it, so I want to do its own special little review. I absolutely loved this book so much. It's so good. I highly recommend it to anybody. Um, I mean, I heard it was good, but I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. It's, I don't know, it's one of those books that make you feel really emotional. Not necessarily just like sad, like not just a sad story, but it just makes you like feel like attached to the characters and everything. And this definitely was like that for me. Um, I loved the writing. Like I loved how she connects the two stories, like the past one and then the current one. Um, I love, like, I don't even know how to describe this book. It's so good. But like the, there's italics. That's the past, which that really confused me at the beginning of the book. I was so confused what was going on. And that's like a story. And then, um, like a past story. And then the regular print is the current girl story. I, I just, I loved, um, everything. Like, there, there's nothing I want to change about this book. I thought it was perfect. I love the characters. I love the setting. I love her descriptions. I love the way she writes. Um, it made me cry at the end. I was crying. <laughs> um, but I tend to cry at books that I really like. Like if I really like a book, I'll cry. But I mean, only if it's like has some sort of thing that makes me cry. Like if it's just like really happy, really sweet, or really sad, I'll cry. Um, yeah, this book is about a girl who she's abandoned by her mother. She doesn't know her father is, and she's taken into this school called Jellico School. And they're like um, at like a, in a territory war with like two other like the cadets and the like townies. Um, so they're kind of like she gets voted like the head leader, so she has to deal with all of them. And uh, it's not like when I say like war, it's not like they're like shooting guns at each other. It's just kind of like can't step on their land, otherwise they like beat you up. <laughs> So, I don't know, but it was, it's really, it's really hard to describe, it really is. Um, and it has like a mystery, um, kind of like you're constantly like figuring stuff out, so it like keeps you going, like it's not ever boring. I loved it. I highly recommend this to everybody, Jellico Road by Melinda Marchetta. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I'm really tired. Oh, and I got The Death Cure, so I'm reading this. Um, I'm like that for, sorry, yesterday. I got it yesterday. I'm so excited that the series is coming to end, but I'm, I love it. I have so many series I need to read. Well, I am reading. I have this one, which is almost over now. Um, Divergent, Delirium, Matched. Is there one more? I'm becoming a Mario Dyer, that's going to be one. I don't know, but there's a lot of series. And this is the time for Lies is over. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I get to wake up at 7 o'clock to register for classes next semester. Which, I'm going to be so mad if I don't get the classes I want. So mad. But, I can talk to my advisor and get all my classes, so that'll be good. Um, also, I just got back from drawing, and I'm a little messy. I don't know if I have charcoal on my face. I might. But, yeah. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat soon. So, that's just... Well, I'm probably going to read this book. But this book, read it. Go. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely, like, one of my top favorite books of all time. I'm going to read it again. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I'm just rambling. Survivor's on tonight. Okay. Bye. <laughs>